The media party and the Liberal Party and the NDP and everyone who counts denounced Harper and then denounced Kelly Leach as racist. Of course they did. But then today, Quebec's Premier Francois Legault, look at this, he just did it. He just passed a regulation. He published it. It's not even a law that needs a vote. He just published this regulation in the official gazette, just writing it and ordering it to be done, bringing in a values test. Here's how the CBC State Broadcaster reported it. Quebec will make immigrants pass values tests to qualify for residency. Tests will cover what government calls democratic values and Quebec values. Now I'm going to read to you the first full six paragraphs in a row. It's a little bit long, but I want to show you the difference in tone between now and a couple years ago. Here's how the CBC covered Kelly Leach, a story on how she doesn't understand anything. She's really dumb. They found a, doctor, a lawyer to say so. She's actually not dumb. She's a medical doctor. She's a scholar. She's an expert. But the CBC said she was dumb. Um, to want Canadian values? Oh, and of course, here again from the CBC. She's a super racist. I, I note uh, that this story was written by John Paul Tasker, who just happens to be one of the Trudeau supporters embedded in the CBC, who sued along with Rosemary Barton. Literally a lead plaintiff suing the Conservative Party in this last election. This was war for the CBC. This issue, when it was Kelly Leach or Stephen Harper. So that's how it was. That's how they covered it two years ago. But listen to the CBC now. Immigrants to Canada who want to settle in Quebec will soon be required to pass a provincial values test. Starting January 1, new arrivals will have to prove they have learned democratic values and Quebec values in order to obtain a selection certificate, the first step toward permanent residency for immigrants wanting to live in the province. Premier Francois Legault said the test, which was a promise made by Coalition Avenir Quebec in last year's provincial election, sends a clear message to would-be immigrants. I think it's important if someone wants to come and live in Quebec to know that, for example, women are equal to men in Quebec, he said Wednesday, stressing that some religious extremists don't share that view. He added that it's important newcomers understand the province's new secularism law, which bans public workers in positions of authority from wearing religious symbols. I think it's important before deciding and coming to Quebec, if you expect to be in a job in a position of authority, you will not have a right to wear a religious sign. I think it's important that we understand the values and the society where you want to live. That's pretty straight reporting. I mean, we're almost done the story and not one accusation of racism or that he's so stupid, he doesn't know how things work. In fact, the only use of the word extremism is Legault calling Muslim extremists extremists for not wanting the equality of men and women. Isn't that incredible? I read the whole story. Not only did the CBC not criticize Legault themselves, but the CBC didn't interview anyone else. They didn't quote anyone else who was even opposed. <laughs> no one. Let me show you that wasn't rare. Here's Radio Canada. That's the French CBC. Same thing. I won't read the whole thing to you. Take my word for it. There's not a word in opposition. Not one word. Here's CTV Montreal. They started out the same way, just reporting the news straight. And then the first opposition criticism is actually the Parti Québécois just saying, hey, uh, when will we know what the questions on the test will be? Parti Québécois immigration critic Megan Perry Melanson insists the government should reveal exactly what kind of questions will be asked. We can assume some people are going to lie on the test, she said. If they really, really want to come to Quebec, they are going to do everything they can, unquote. As in the PQ wants this test to be tough. They're worried that people will just lie to get through it by saying what's expected of them, which is obviously true. I mean, obviously, this problem of not a fit with Canadian values has to be solved before the migrants are even over here. In a way, this really makes no sense to impose these tests when the big polygamous niqab wearing bigoted family is already here and on welfare. The Parti Québécois is right on that. Uh, how does this even help if they're here? Wouldn't they lie? But at least a test that is late and can be cheated on is better than nothing, which is what we have now. That's an excerpt from The Ezra Levant Show, which is a show I do every day. I do a monologue, interview an interesting guest, and then I read my hate mail. But you've got to subscribe to it, which you can do at premium.rebelnews.com.